Oh. What? Yes, you have to know. what. My mom is into emojis right now. Her favorite is the thumbs up. And um, not the eggplant, although she doesn't know what it does yet. I mean, is. I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> um, my mom, emojis. It's kind of awesome. Anyway, uh, so we're here, and this is, uh, and where are we, by the way? We're at the place to be. It's uh, at night, at lunch, for breakfast, uh, the Italian Center Market. Oh, my goodness. Hot dog. I love this place. And the people. Maria, welcome to Dinner Television. Thank you. Thank you for um, having me. <laughs> we are ha we're talking about, like, basically the fall is upon us. People are worrying about meals, going back to school for themselves, for their little ones. Um, and then we've we sort of covered lunches. We've covered breakfast. We started in the bakery. We've covered pizza. There's a really wonderful option here as well for mm -hmm. pre-cooked meals, and we're going to assemble something right now to give people an idea of what's, op what's out there. Yes, absolutely. So uh, what we have here, you guys, is Massimo's uh, Cucina Italiana. This is Teresa's private label brand. Um, it's all stuff that's very easy, convenient, quick to take home and uh, make a meal out of it. So actually what I'm going to be showing you guys is one of our dishes, the Mafalda with our Bolognese. And bolognese, because part of everything, so yeah. bolognese, what kind of sauce is bolognese? So bolognese is this one here that we have. It's a traditional meat sauce with tomato. Okay. So the tomatoes that we use are La Pavancella, which are exclusive to Teresa Spinelli. And then the meats that we have is a combination of our meats from our good friends at Messenger Meats. So we've got the Pimentese beef, we've got milk, fe uh, milk fed veal, and then chemical free pork. So it's all the good stuff and... Uh, None of the oh, bad. Why? No, none of the bad. No, it's no. funny. It's what I'm learning is when stuff is made fresh and when stuff is made that day, it, our body actually knows how to process it better. Oh, my God. What kind of pasta is this? So this is our Mafalda pasta. So this is the noodle that we use especially for this dish. It's a little bit different. Not too many people know about it, but it goes great with our sauce. Little, 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 little lasagna, lasagnas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You got it. So what I'm putting on here, you guys, is the bolognese sauce that we carry uh, made at Massimo's. So that's our south location. Gotcha. Um, and just so you guys know, Massimo's uh, Cucina Italiana is um, named after the youngest member in the family, uh, Teresa's family. That's her son, Massimo. He's awesome, by the way. Um, last time I talked to him, he said his favorite, I'm pretty sure it still is, his favorite band was ACDC. And this kid is like pure rock and roll. Love him. Um, oh, you've actually like, you just like literally completed it. And all of a yeah. sudden, uh, you just put some Parmesan on mm -hmm. it. So that's the point with this is we want to try to emphasize to people that uh, making a dish, taking a dish that Nona makes is not that difficult. I know everybody's rushed for time. So that's what we do with these. You can see them here in our containers. These are microwave and oven friendly, but I mean, I just assembled this dish pretty quick. Yep. So I mean, I'm just trying to show that you guys can have what's in these containers in a dish and still call it a gourmet meal. Uh, and okay, now I have to ask because anything that's like pastry and sort of tucked into a nice wooden bowl, yeah. what are those? So those are our Massimo's frittatini. So oh, that frittatini. frittatini is like a mini little omelet. It's got uh, zucchini, we've got cherry tomatoes, potatoes and Parmesan cheese in there. And oh. they're delicious. They're delicious little bites. Okay, what we got going on? This plate is empty. I'm wondering what's happening on this plate. That was my utensils. It holds oh, my utensils. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Can yeah. we open up one of those frittatini? or just to see what it looks like inside. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just because, I know you've got sort of rigging the, the plate here. Oh, okay, there okay. we go, just cool. to see. What I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm just gonna go and split this down the middle. And there, so we can see, turn that around. So you've got potato in there. And like I said, zucchini, cherry tomato, and some Parmesan. A great breakfast option. Uh, absolutely, and it's easy, because they're convenient. They come in very uh, easy pack and go containers. I'll show you real quick. These guys right here. So, I mean, you can pick them up, have them on your way to work while you're in the car. Boom. So, super easy. Yeah. Love it. And they're great. And they're, and what I'm, again, it's just that there's so many options you, to get creative. Uh, to put your own spin, you can add a little yes. bit to this. You can put a bed of spinach at the bottom of this. Uh, Maria, thank Absolutely. you so much. No problem. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you. It's yeah. uh, great ideas for the fall for you, for your family, and either for the little one who's going off to school, talking about sandwiches, or it's for you when you want something a little bit hotter. There's some great pastes. Rich and I have already put two aside for us to buy. So good. It's the Italian Center market we're at the 95th street location we'll be back more after this oh yes yes what are you eating tonight ask yourself that are you eating this well